Hello dear subscriber, it's Dr. MK7 and welcome to Medicine in 5 Minutes. This is a series on my YouTube channel where we we'll look at medical topics in the shorter space of time. In today's episode, we're going to be focusing on dysmenorrhea. Recall that dysmenorrhea simply means painful periods. It may be classified as primary or secondary dysmenorrhea. Primary dysmenorrhea is not associated with any organ pathology and usually starts 6 to 12 months after menarche. In essence, it occurs once the cycle is established, while the secondary dysmenorrhea tends to occur later in life and is caused by organ pathology. Some important common causes of secondary dysmenorrhea include fibroids, adenomyosis and endometriosis, adhesions, uterine polyps, pelvic inflammatory disease, and intrauterine copper devices. Symptoms of primary dysmenorrhea tend to be worse on the first and second day of the period. It is often associated with crampy pain, low abdominal pain radiating to the back and groin with associated symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, fatigue, or headache. On the other hand, the pain in secondary dysmenorrhea is constant and lasts throughout the period and possibly into the luteal phase. There may be symptoms of irregular or heavy bleeding, dyspareunia, bloating, and a discharge. Investigations are tailored to determine the underlying cause. These include graf index to rule out pregnancy, cervical or vaginal cultures for infections, urinalysis for urinary tract infections, ultrasound to detect any pelvic pathologies, full blood count, as well as an ESR. Treatment generally addresses the underlying cause. Supportive treatment may include the use of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs such as ibuprofen, mefenamic acid, and naproxen as well as the use of hormonal therapy using combined contraceptive pills, progestins such as levonorgestrel intrauterine systems, and Depo-Provera. In some cases, surgery may be the option. Patients are often encouraged to improve their general health and continue with their usual activity including sports and exercise. Thank you for taking your time to listen to this episode of Medicine in 5 Minutes. If you enjoyed, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification icon to be receiving notifications of such videos every time I post. Follow us on Facebook at Dr. MK7. My name is Dr. Moses Kazevu. Until next time, bye-bye.